Hey everyone, how's everybody doing? It's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you another video. Thanks for coming back. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to like this video if you like the video. If you don't like the video, you can also dislike it. I take all kinds of feedback, so hey, it's fine by me. I won't lose any sleep if you don't like the video. But if you generally don't like the video and you feel like you can offer some constructive criticism, then I'll take it. You know, anything to better my channel and to give the people what they want. So feedback is always welcome. Also, if you really like this video, share this video. I'd really appreciate it. The more people that know about my channel, um, the more I'm able to produce content for you guys. And I really want to keep this going. Um, I won't stop, but I mean, if I have more support, it'll be a lot easier for me and I could use more of my time to create stuff for you guys. And that's what I really want to do. So let's make it happen. By the way, also happy President's Day. Uh, today, as I'm recording this, it is currently President's Day. By the time this gets uploaded, it'll probably be a day or two after that um, because of rendering and upload time, which takes forever. But yeah, happy President's Day. I hope everybody had a really good weekend. Um, if your weekend was pretty good, um, if it was productive, um, let me know how it went and down in the comments section. Um, let's have a little conversation. Um, I'll reply to you if I have time. And also to all of my Walking Dead uh, fans out there who watch the TV show, um, hopefully you guys got caught up on Sunday's episode. I haven't watched it yet. I'm actually going to watch it later on tonight after I'm done editing this video. I can't wait for that. But uh, don't spoil it for me, but let me know down in the comment section how it was for you guys. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the new episodes for The Walking Dead. Anyway, so this over the weekend, I decided that it was time to clean out my tanks. And initially, I wasn't going to record this um, because I feel like you guys have seen me do plenty of water changes. But, uh, you know, it was a little different this time because one... Um, I'm changing the water for my fry tank and so I thought maybe you guys would want to see that so that's what I did and then I realized you know my 75 gallon tank and my 20 gallon tank in my room are also kind of dirty so they needed a water change as well so I thought if I was going to clean out the fry tank I might as well clean out those tank as well so that way I don't have to do them um, next weekend and instead I could use my time to do something else because I really don't want to spend the whole day cleaning out the fish tank which is what I did pretty much on this day I spent about three hours cleaning out my tanks normally it doesn't take that long but because I was also focusing on getting shots for you guys and filming and recording and making sure that the video turns out pretty good it took me longer than usual to do the water change now I did this half and half and when I say half and half I mean I used the camera to record some things and then I also used my laptop to put some audio in so the first five minutes is just me talking over um, the clips that you see in front of you on that day that I took shots of um, so around the five minute mark is when you actually um, uh, hear me talk into the camera and record what I was doing as far as the water change goes and while I was doing the water change for my fry tank I realized that my heater had broke um, I'm not sure what happened to it but I noticed that in the last couple of days um, there was like these white things underneath the heater you can't really see it in this clip but later on as you watch further into the video you'll see exactly what I'm talking about um, I'll try to list in a description the time frame where I'm actually talking about the broken heater and it was pretty tragic but at the same time I was really lucky because nothing happened except a little mild burning of burning of my finger so my finger got burned but you know not so bad um, I wouldn't say it was like a burn burn it was just kind of like a Ooh, ah, you know, like I touched it for a second and my finger hurt for a few seconds, but nothing too tragic. I didn't go to the hospital or anything like that. Even if I really did burn my finger, I think I'm too manly to go to the hospital. But uh, 
that's the time frame where I started doing the water change and I didn't finish until like around 8. But anyways, the uh, video is about to start. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Take care. Now before I do anything, I need to move the fry and put them in here. So I have no room to put this so I usually leave it outside and it's been out here for a few weeks and it's got some dirt in there so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out and then I'm gonna get some water from my 75 gallon tank and I'm going to siphon it using this so what I'll do is I'll put one I'll put one end in the 75 gallon tank and one end will go through here and I'll get the water to go through this into the bucket and I'll put the four fry in here and then I'll start doing my water changes let's go ahead and do this Now, actually, before I get the fry from this tank, I'm going to go ahead and actually take out the sponge filters first. And I'm going to go ahead and clean that first and leave them in the bathtub. And then I'll come back and get the fry. Um, because if I take out the sponge filters, it'll be a lot easier for me to get the fry without potentially harming them. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the sponge filters and then go ahead and take them out and take them to the bathtub so that way I can clean them. One thing I forgot to mention guys, and don't ever do this, I made a mistake doing this one time. I had sponge filters in my 20 gallon tank and I was in the middle of doing a water change for my fry and I thought, well, I can squeeze the sponge filters in the tank and it'll clean it and all the nastiness from the sponge filter came out and it completely clouded up my aquarium and I had to do multiple, multiple, multiple water changes to finally get it back to clear and normal so don't ever do that um, I didn't squeeze these yet um, I won't be cleaning the sponge filters in the bucket I'll run it through tap water from my bathtub now most people say that you're supposed to clean your sponge filters with tank water or any filter and media cartridges or anything related to that um, and I don't disagree with that um, if you want to be like hundred percent safe with your fish then go ahead and use tank water to clean your sponge filters in your in your media but I don't do that I just use tap water and uh, it's always worked out for me now if you don't want to take that advice that's fine I mean everybody has their own way of doing things in the fish hobby not everybody's gonna be doing things the exact same way that you're doing it I guarantee you nobody does anything the same 100% with another fish hobbyist. Everybody has their own technique, their own way, their own way that they're comfortable of doing things and if it works for them then you know there shouldn't be an issue with doing it you know. Um, but you know you can always leave a comment down below and give your opinion on it and yeah that's all I have to say about that. They're nice and clean. Gave them a good squeeze. And now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and put my babies in here. They're waiting on me. Okay guys, so if you guys are gonna do this, don't be like me, okay? Be smart about it. Me, I'm not so smart about it, okay? I have the tube in the tank and I have this weighing it down. It might be a little too heavy. I hope it doesn't crack the glass, but um, I'm doing this because I want to be able to good, get a good shot for you guys. So I'm doing this for you guys. I'm risking this glass cracking. Whatever. Here goes nothing.
morning guys, here they are. They don't look too happy. There's one, two, three, and four. We got two here, and then we got two here. All right, and I'm not really gonna do like a uh, hardcore cleaning. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the front glass, and I'm gonna leave the allergy on the sides so they can eat off of that. And I'm going to do a thorough cleaning at the bottom because I don't know what this white stuff is here. I'm hoping that's not from the heater. Um, I'm hoping my heater is okay. But I'm definitely going to clean all the gunk and nasty stuff here at down at the bottom. But uh, first things first, got to remove my baby angels from here and put them in that bucket. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, count them up. One, two, three. Four. I got all four of my babies in here. I just realized also this is their first net experience. This is the first time they've been netted and I can't imagine the horrors that they went through. They were pretty scared when I put that net in there. So I'm sorry babies. I didn't mean to scare you guys too much but uh, you guys need some clean water. This is not acceptable. All right, let's go ahead and do the dirty work. All right, guys, uh, this is the last tank that I'm going to be taking water out of. Um, it's not too bad. Um, hopefully after this water change, my breeding pair will breed for me. But uh, I mean, that's really all there is in this tank is uh, that pile of poop over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And uh, as you can see here, I drained both of these tanks already, so. I'm almost done. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. Looks like we got all three tanks down to the water level that I need them to be at. I'm going to go ahead and start filling water. 75 gallon tank. It is, I took out about 75% like I always do. And then I got my 29 gallon tank and I took out about 20, 75% on this one as well. And then for the 20 gallon tank here, um, I took out about 60%. You know, there's still a good amount of water in here. Um, the water was already clean, wasn't even too dirty, um, which is surprising to me. I guess that Anubius really helps. Um, but there's a little bit of brown algae, but I don't want to even bother with that. So I'm just going to leave it there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start filling up these tanks, and then I am done. All right, guys, so remember the white stuff at the bottom of my 29 gallon tank? Well, it turns out it's from my heater. And yeah, this, this heater looks looks like it's in pretty bad shape. Um, I didn't even realize how bad it was until I was cleaning in a 29 gallon tank and I was moving this around and my finger got burned by this. And luckily, um, this didn't, you know, like malfunction in the tank or anything, but I immediately unplugged it and took it out. And even after I unplugged it and took it out, I touched it again and it was really hot so um, this heater has gone to shit now excuse my French but I just dodged the bullet because um, usually in this situation I would start panicking and um, I would have to run to like PetSmart or Petco and grab a heater off the shelf and those are pretty pricey um, heaters over 20 gallons is around $18 and up um, correct me if I'm wrong but Lucky me, bam, I got a spare heater. So I got pretty lucky, guys. And uh, I actually tried to sell this on eBay like a few months back. I think like six months ago. Check this out, guys. Now look at this. It's pretty much brand new. So guys, compare this one to that one. Look at all that brown stuff and all those, cr like, I don't know what that is, but it's not good. So, uh... Maybe it was because I had it on the floor of the tank, so um, I'm gonna set this one up on the wall and um, not have this, not have this heater sitting on the floor like I had this one. So I dodged the bullet, guys. I'm so happy that I had a spare. Good thing I didn't sell this one. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Um, so I'm recording over these clips that were taken two days um, after I cleaned out my tanks. And I'm putting in the audio for these clips on the same day that I put in the audio for the 
first five minutes of the video. I don't I don't even know why I'm telling you guys that, but I, I just felt like I should for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I guess that's like access to some of the behind the scenes information that I'm giving you guys. So hopefully you guys appreciate that for whatever reason. I feel like you guys should appreciate that. And I'm sorry for the video not focusing on the fry um, there, but I promise you um, my camera will focus for you guys. It was really hard getting really good footage of the fry because my camera just doesn't like focusing on small stuff so but they they are doing pretty good as far as eating they just eat whatever is on the ground like dirt algae um i tried putting in some crushed flakes in there but um they don't really go for it um, like when the flakes are floating on the surface what, what I think they're doing is they are waiting until the flakes get to the bottom of the tank and then when they find it they'll go ahead and eat it that's what I think they are doing um, they have to be eating something because every time I take a look at them their stomachs are filled with whatever it is that they're eating but during the feed, feeding routines for my I'm sorry I keep stuttering during the feeding routine for my fishies I throw in just a little bit of crushed flakes in there and then everybody else gets their big flakes and whatnot. So they're about the age range where I should be start where I should start feeding them some flakes and uh, hopefully they recognize flakes as a food source because if they don't then you know they're not going to grow as fast because they're not going to be eating what they're supposed to be eating at the age that they're at. So hopefully you know it works out well but uh, they seem to be doing really good um, there's some there's I think three of the angels in there are bigger than the fourth one and that happens when you raise angel fish fry you will get them growing at different growth rates so you'll never have angel fish growing at the same rate um, and here are my breadwinners I don't know why I call them breadwinners they're not making me any money but I guess they are the showstoppers, I should say. I don't know why I said breadwinners. Um, I think it's because I went to Panera Bread today and I ate me a tomato mozzarella sandwich and it was so good. And I also had a green uh, passion power smoothie, which was really good. But um, $10 is what I paid for for a bag of chips and a mozzarella sandwich with a green smoothie. And I gotta say, it wasn't enough to fill me up, but it was definitely satisfying to eat that stuff. And I know that's pretty random, but as you can see, the angelfish are doing awesome. They are doing fantastic. And I don't know what it is with this lighting, but I really like the way my angelfish look in these clips here with the lighting. I believe it was the sunlight shining onto my angelfish although the platinum they look a little too bright in this lighting but all the other fish looked absolutely stunning but anyways so i did a water change for these guys and they certainly appreciate it i'm pretty sure they thank me every day for the amount of time and effort and care that i put into them and that makes me feel good and it makes them feel good so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me taking care of my babies and um, hopefully you guys check your heaters routinely now and make sure that everything in your aquarium is functioning properly so that way you know you don't suffer any losses um, you don't hurt yourself or destroy your tank so just want to remind you guys always check your heaters your filters check everything check your air pump make sure everything is up to par um, and also don't forget to always have a spare heater if you're not using your um, room or living room or basement to heat your tanks um, anyways that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i put a lot of effort into editing this video um, sorry for the defocus on the fry. Again, my camera doesn't like to focus on small things. Uh, I do want to improve and get a new camera. Hopefully that's soon. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video pretty soon. Take care. Bye.